Hey, welcome back to Soda Time Restoration. Mark Cohen here. Today's the day we finally, finally, months and months and lots of work and effort of a lot of different people, but uh, today we're going to do the reveal on the Vendo 39. Uh, probably, I always said the 72 was my favorite, but Vendo 39 is the, actually the one in 1993 I started with. Uh, as my first machine so I've done many and this one here is, uh, is, a, is a, a gem it's just very nice but we're gonna start about a little bit about the history probably the one of the first things I always look at when I'm looking at a Vendo 39 is you'll see a rib running down the machine with the ice cold on it definitely early version probably the dead giveaway all red in 1956, uh, they split and put everything from the top, from this line up in a white cap. And if you saw that machine getting done, the price of the Coke doubled that day. It went from a nickel to a dime. So once that conversion hit uh, and they put that white cap on, that five cent machine turned into a 10 cent machine. This machine originally started out as a five cent machine. It will receive a penny, a nickel, and a dime. That's the most, that's a, it will not take a quarter. The have a Coke on the side. There's one that'll say, here's Coke for you in bottles, which was the early version. And I've seen, even in a red machine, it just say have a coke matter of fact I got a six cent machine here uh, today in the shop that actually has that and some people say why don't you see it says have a coke that was a later version but I've got a, a Vendo 39 all red that has that same thing uh, one other thing to to uh, look at and that probably be the ID plate the ID plate on this one is on the inside. Typically there's a little black ID plate on the outside. On the early versions they they were just a small little one. I'll have to get the camera down here so you can see it. It's just a two-liner and uh, you'll see this one here is an F39. F means upright machine. Obviously 39 is how many bottles this machine holds but in the serial number you will see a, an F for the beginning letter, which just means upright. And then that one ties into the year it was made, the next digit. And then the next digit after that is the month it was made in. So that one would mean 1951. And then the 01 would mean January. Well, just to tie us in, and if you've been following the series, you will see usually this machine had a stamping on it that stamping right there is on uh, right on the cap catcher drop i left it alone but as you see january the 12th 1951. so some pretty cool things to keep that uh, history of the machine i do several things i i i left that alone just clear coated over it so on a coin mech, the early versions, uh, if you want to, there's two levers in here that you can adjust. If you run that screw right here, this, these two side screws, if you run them in, this machine will turn into a free VIN machine. As you see that sold out, deposit coin sold out, that is the original. This one here had one busted off. I found one of 1950. I think it was a 53. Uh, it was in s such good shape. I left it alone so people could uh, uh, appreciate. Uh, this machine is 71 years old today. It's just incredible. You know, Vendo, uh, probably, I think, like I said, there was 80,000 of these made. This machine uh, hits right in about the 30,000 group, I believe, uh, by the ID number. So we're gonna go and uh, next step is how to load a Vendo 39. So 
when you open the open the rack, get the rack ready. Pull out your 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 uh, basket hold wire, and you're going to see a dot right here. That dot on a full load machine. So when you shut the door, they can't pull a bottle out. So if you got a full, let's say this machine is fully loaded, totally loaded, that dot, when you shut the door, that little empty dot should be, if you got all 39 bottles in there, you should see, you should see that little dot right in the middle. You cannot pull a bottle out right now. So, we're gonna go and say, okay, we're not gonna load a full load. We're gonna load six bottles. You're gonna see a set of numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna load them bottles that we've got in that order. Yes, it took me a while to figure this out. If you would got one of the early machines, it does not have a dial indicator on here. It tells you how to load it. So there's number five, there's number six. So you're loading six bottles. So you'll see the one, the two, the three, the four, the five, the six. Now, you think that should work perfectly. That is not the right setting. You have to then look at the dial on the side You'll see these numbers coming around. 25, 29, 30, 33, 35, 37, full load. We are looking, and actually you count in between, so that'd be a 35, 36, 37, and then this would be the full load. Well, we're not doing a full load, so we're looking for number six. So if you look for number six on the dial, it'll come around and it'll be right here. There's five. Number five, and let me get this where it's a little flatter here where we can see it a little better when I'm holding the camera like this. There's number five, there's number six, there's number seven, number eight. So as you see these numbers grow, we are wanting to set our, our pointer to number six. We're gonna open the wire, pull the wire back out. We're gonna turn this pointer So the pointer is at number six. And as your bottles look like right there, and here is the dot, you think, well, that dot always needs to be at the empty stage, not on a partial load. On a partial load, it's gotta be like this. So we're gonna shut the door. Make sure you push this wire in, you're gonna get a big old dent here in your door. Push the wire back in. You've got it set at number six. So that's five, this is six. And now we're going to shut the door. Door shut. We'll lock our coin door down. And as you can see, we cannot grab that bottle out of there yet. And if you've never run a Vendo 39, crank handle needs to be in that position. Mm. One thing. One thing. If you're dropping money in and it just keeps going through the return, make sure this is not up in the sold out stage. And we'll, I'll pop the machine open when we do this to show you why that changes. But as soon as you get it to that stage there, it'll accept money. If it's in the other stage sold out and it shows it in your viewfinder sold out, it'll keep dropping coins through. So we're flipping it back down. Flip your handle over, and as you see, it says deposit coins. We'll look inside. Can't pull one out right now. Drop your money in, and hit your crank handle, and so you can kind of see it at the same time, see the drum move. Hopefully you can. There you go. Get your bottle out. So that's a partial load instruction. Matter of fact, we're gonna act like, so you can see the how the sold out piece works. We're gonna get it down 
to where the sold out is triggered. Get everything reloaded here. We'll shut the door. And we want to make sure that's in the down. All right, so we still shows deposit coin. So let's say we're going on our last bottle. We put our money in and our flag should flip when we hit this down. Boom, sold out. So what happens on that last bottle, when that goes up, no more coins will go through. Pretty cool deal for 1949, a mechanical state like that, but there's a little bump right there. And when that bump hits, it pushes your little uh, engager in here that kicks that coin mech from taking money. So if you ever get a Vendo 39 and you just won't take coins, good chance you probably got that flipped in the wrong direction. All right, so that is probably everything on the load, how to run the sold out flag. One other thing on the Vendo 39 early series, one other thing I missed, this bezel right here on the early version was just a little stamp steel. On the later versions, they had a, a chrome, a more of a chrome housing that was a kind of a pot metal, but as a chrome housing, those were probably the last two years. So give you a shot on the inside. What the, everything in the inside been recoded, powder coat, new decals, new compressor at the bottom, drums been buffed out, everything inside either been replaced, new bolts, new screws, everything's been totally redone. New insulation, uh, just a beautiful machine on the inside. There is a decal that uh, goes with the, the empty signal that reminds you about the, the issues of your coins dropping through and you can't figure out why. <laughs> but uh, I hope everybody enjoyed the series. I enjoyed it. It took longer than I thought it would to do, to do the whole series, but I think it was time well spent. If you got a Vendo 39, we're thinking about it. If you can put in the comments section, put your serial number on the state that you're in. I don't need an address or anything like that. I just kind of want to tie in the, the Vendo 39 serial number to a state. We'd like to do a map that shows where every Vendo 39 is in the United States, as far as that goes in the world. I know I've got some people that are watching the channel right now in, in uh, Vietnam and in France and Europe and Brazil. So if you got a Vendo 39 and you want to be put on the map, put that in our comments section and uh, we're going to try to build a little map that uh, you can go to and see where all the Vendo 39s that are left right now. Obviously 80,000 of them made. I'm going to predict probably, I'm saying only 20, my gut feeling 25% still left, but uh, I want to thank everybody. I think right now, as of today, uh, we're at close to 170 on, sub on our subscribers. Thank you guys for, for uh, attaching to the channel. Uh, I've got a lot of people to thank. We're going to put that in the notes. Uh, Sean, my editor, my family that have been along and helping on the project. Uh, thank you very much. We're going to put a list of all the vendors and uh, items that we've got in the page that we've done uh, as far as work that we've purchased from and uh, where we've got a lot of our parts from. But uh, thank you all you vendors that, that have participated in helping me uh, get this machine done uh, right down to the, the Chrome guys. Uh, I'll, I'll list everything. So thanks again, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks a lot.